This is the Airbus ACH-130, the luxurious iteration of the original H-130, a model renowned for its versatility and reliability across various mission profiles. The story of the helicopter begins with its predecessor, the H-130, which itself was an evolution of the earlier EC-130 model. The original EC-130 was introduced in the late 1990s, aiming to fill a gap in the single-engine helicopter market that required a machine capable of carrying more passengers and cargo than existing models at the time. The helicopter, later renamed H-130 as part of Airbus's rebranding strategy, gained rapid popularity for medical services, tour operations, and private use. Recognizing the need for a more opulent version aimed at the corporate and VIP market, Airbus decided to launch the ACH-130. This initiative was part of the Airbus Corporate Helicopter Division's broader strategy to tap into the burgeoning demand for luxury helicopters. Introduced in the late 2010s, the ACH-130 incorporated the robust engineering and performance characteristics of the H-130, but with significant upgrades in terms of interior design, customizability, and onboard amenities. Stay with us till the end of the video, because here is everything you need to know about the Airbus ACH-130. Stepping inside, you're instantly struck by its luxuriousness. With a cabin height of 4.2 feet or 1.28 meters, and a width of 6.5 feet or 1.95 meters, the helicopter provides ample room for up to seven passengers in addition to one pilot. Furthermore, the layout of the cabin can be customized to meet individual needs, offering various seating configurations, including club seating or a forward-facing arrangement. The design facilitates easy entry and exit, thanks to well-placed handrails and large sliding doors that measure about 3.3 feet or a meter in width. The interior is nothing short of luxurious. High-quality leather is the standard upholstery material, and it can be customized to fit individual tastes. Stitching is meticulously done to ensure durability, and the texture feels soft to the touch. The leather is accompanied by accents of brushed aluminum and optionally high-grade wood veneers, contributing to an overall atmosphere of elegance and sophistication. The seats are not just visually appealing, but are also ergonomically designed to offer maximum comfort. High-density foam cushions are encapsulated in leather, allowing passengers to feel cradled yet supported. The seats are adjustable both vertically and horizontally, and for those who desire, optional features like heated seats are available. Legroom is abundant, measuring approximately 3 feet or 0.9 meters between rows, providing passengers with plenty of space to stretch out during the flight. The ACH-130 features LED lighting with dimmable controls, enabling passengers to adjust the illumination to their liking. The large windows are a highlight, offering panoramic views that not only make the cabin feel more expansive, but also allow passengers to take in the scenery during their journey. The acoustic engineering deserves special mention. Advanced insulation materials are used in the construction of the cabin walls, and these are supplemented by additional noise-canceling technologies, which result in an average noise level between 80 and 85 decibels. The ACH-130 features a climate control system designed to maintain a comfortable cabin temperature, regardless of the external environment. Not only does it offer air conditioning, but also heating, with strategically placed vents to ensure even distribution. The control panel is user-friendly, making it easy for passengers to make adjustments as needed. Storage options are thoughtfully designed. Side pockets near the seats offer convenient storage for personal items like phones, wallets, or documents. Additionally, the cabin includes cup holders for both cold and hot beverages. For those who need to charge electronic devices, multiple USB ports are seamlessly integrated into the cabin's design. While not as flashy as other features, the safety amenities are top-notch. Energy-absorbing seats add an extra layer of safety, reducing the impact forces in the event of a hard landing. Fire extinguishers and first aid kits are readily accessible, and life vests are provided for overwater flights. Now, let's talk about the cockpit. While it may not be the most spacious in its class, the layout has been thoughtfully designed to place essential controls within arm's reach. And there is a clear focus on ergonomics, with adjustable seats and footrests aimed at reducing pilot fatigue on longer flights. 
One of the standout features is the integration of the Airbus Helionix Avionics Suite, which offers a range of state-of-the-art instrumentation and displays, including dual screens with a standard size of 6 by 8 inches for the PFD and ND. The crisp, high-resolution screens are fully customizable, allowing pilots to choose the information they want to see, from altitude and airspeed to navigational waypoints and fuel levels. The 4-axis autopilot system is a remarkable feature that provides automated control over roll, pitch, yaw, and collective, thereby significantly reducing the manual workload. The autopilot system also includes features such as flight path stability and altitude hold, which contribute to smoother and more predictable flights. When it comes to communication, the ACH-130 is equipped with VHF radios, which offer crystal clear audio reception and transmission. The navigational systems are equally robust, featuring GPS and WA's technology that ensures accurate positioning information. Additionally, the cockpit is ready for IFR operations, indicating its capability to handle a broader range of operational scenarios. The FMS is user-friendly and allows for easy programming of the flight plan and other crucial parameters. Data entry can be done through a console that employs a straightforward interface, eliminating the usual complexity associated with entering flight data. The system also allows for quick retrieval of pre-stored flight plans, facilitating faster turnaround times. When it comes to safety, the cockpit includes several features aimed at maximizing emergency responsiveness. The Helionix suite comes with built-in warning systems for parameters such as engine failure, hydraulic issues, and electrical faults. The layout of the emergency controls is intuitive, ensuring that critical systems like fire extinguishers and emergency fuel shutoff are easily accessible. Now let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The Airbus ACH-130 is powered by a single Turbo Mecha Aerial 2D engine with a TBO of 4,000 hours, producing up to 952 shaft horsepower. The turbine engine is controlled by a dual-channel FADEX system, which simplifies engine management and enhances operational safety by automating complex tasks. The FADEX allows for precise fuel metering and monitoring, contributing to the aircraft's overall efficiency and performance. The engine allows a maximum rate of climb per minute of 1,770 feet or 540 meters and a maximum cruising altitude of 23,000 feet or 7,000 meters. The aircraft has a maximum cruise speed of 130 knots, with an average hourly fuel burn of 42 gallons or 160 liters. The helicopter has a maximum range of 330 nautical miles, which is 380 miles or 610 kilometers, with a maximum net payload of 1,550 pounds or 700 kilograms and a full fuel payload of 1,160 pounds or 525 kilograms. The base purchase price for a new Airbus ACH-130 is $4 million before options, and the charter price is estimated at $2,000 to $3,000 per hour. Naturally, prices will vary depending on availability, fuel prices, ground fees, and more. While the annual fixed cost is roughly $150,000 to $250,000, the average hourly operating cost is estimated at $1,000 to $1,500. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.